Hey, you. Sure. My favorite person. So can you autograph this, write the name of your song, and then write your top three tips to being happy? Because you're like the happiest person here. Am I? Yeah. Good. We're Everybody's always happy. in a what better mood after we meet you. Yeah. Yeah, so what, yeah, yeah. What do you want me to do? Autograph. Uh. Then hello. Oh, cute. Hello. And then write your tips to being happy. And tell us about your tips to being happy. So happiness mm -hmm. uh, for me is about... Um, how do you say loving yourself? Like self-esteem or yeah. self-esteem? Mm -hmm. huh, good that I can write. <laughs> like that? Yes. Self-esteem, that's one. Number two is... Um, Family, maybe? Definitely family. Mm -hmm. You seem like big on your family. Oh, yeah. Notice. Fam oh, my God. Yeah. Family. <laughs> Don't you have like a, a, a keyboard? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> What's this? A um, Sharpie. A Sharpie. Okay. Self-esteem. Because if you don't love yourself, you cannot love your family, yes. right? And mm -hmm. then on the third one, I would uh, say uh, self-esteem, family, and just think about myself. What makes me happy? Music. Love that. And speaking of music, you have a new video out, I sir. I do. I do. I'm trying to tell everybody that, you know, I have a video now. I'm sure out. everybody heard me in the rehearsals reacting. <laughs> I told you this morning where the part where you go in the animation, mm -hmm. it was so well done. I was like, oh, and I just made a noise. And yeah, people were judging. You see? Me. So, guys. The video is out. Go check it out. Uh huh. So, do you want to tell us about creating it, though, a bit? Well, it was a quite a fast process because mm -hmm. uh, we only shot in over a weekend and, mm -hmm. and edited everything. It was yeah. very uh, because we wanted. To, I wanted to release it now. Yes. Today. Because you understand how this works. Yes, <laughs> and uh, so the video is. Yeah, I mean, it's. It has a background of, of the show. You yes. kind of get a feeling of what happens on stage but then we we develop it and I actually stay in the world yeah in her, instead of her coming out I'm you going stay. in yes that's what the video is about it's amazing so I actually liked it out there it, it, it's a nice world the video oh uh, yeah I understand you know, yeah it's, it's good so one more very serious question so he's the only person tall enough to do that yeah, I know <laughs> literally 1.96 meters. Everyone else is it's like, not fair. Everyone else is like, here's your autograph. Like, <laughs> 1.95. Oh. Oh, he's lying. He's lying. Oh, he's lying. <laughs> we sell. He's lying. On your Instagram, you posted that you're 1.96 meters, but your team is saying that you're lying and that it's 1.95. So what's the truth, Mohambi? On a good day? Yes. <laughs> Ten minutes. What is it? Come on. I think it's 0.6. Okay. 9.6. Well, then you guys take it with up these with these shoes seat. on. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you so much, Mahomie. It's been an absolute pleasure. So happy you Thank were you, in this friend. and that I got to meet you because you're happy an incredible to meet you artist. Too. I'm so happy that this happened, right? Thanks. So, Thanks like, a lot. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> Does it even matter? Which side am I going on? Am I come on this here, side? Come here. Come here. Have a, like, oh, can I interview you? No, no, no. The, so, are you recording? No, it's too yep. loud. You so, have to hold it down. Like this. So, yeah. how, how do you feel about uh, tonight's uh, event? And how, how? I feel like you need to keep me away from the cameraman that was responsible for your opening shot because remember what we talked about? They messed it up, and I'm going to throttle him if I see him. Oh, okay. yeah. And how, how does that make you feel? Like, I'm going to fight! <laughs> uh. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm barely even here right now, but I just like I'm so happy for you that you know you got top five, yeah. totally deserved, well, and that the public loved you because that's more people than you know a handful of juries. So yeah, I mean the jury has a specific thing Focus. they're looking for, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. For your vision to 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 fit in the format. Yeah. Hello is not a that type of song you mm. know to be honest so yeah. but it's a strong song yeah which has manifested in in, in form of votes from the public mm -hmm. uh which i received a lot yes and and i'm really happy for that because that's that's what i wanted mm -hmm. that's why i'm here you know it's, and to be able to 
to participate in those type of like big events like this, mm -hmm. not just abroad, mm -hmm. you know, in the shadows of the Swedish press, but mm -hmm. now in the middle of it, mm -hmm. is uh, is powerful. You know? I'm really curious to hear uh, your opinion or your perspective on the fact that you wanted coming into this to reconnect to the Swedish audience, which obviously you've done, but you also have your big international career, so presumably you're going to be balancing both of those things now. And I would like to hear just your perspective on balancing being more international because I feel like when I talk to other Swedish artists and I'm trying to push them to do more things outside of Sweden, they go, well, I'm so busy in Sweden and then I can't go other places. And I feel like that's kind of bullshit but um but just you know like how all of that works for you to be all over the place because obviously it works you've had a big career. you know how that works if you want to be all over the place you got to sacrifice the sleeping hours you know mm. you got to sacrifice the resting days and all of that the family days the christmas the new year's eve the midsummer <laughs> uh the birthday parties all of that that's the only way to be in several places at the same time mm. almost uh, so for me, nothing really changes, uh, apart from the fact that I'm bringing with me millions of Swedish people mm -hmm. on board on my train yeah. that is about to toot toot all over the world because, mm -hmm. I mean, hello might become even bigger in other countries, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's already super big now and, and I'm so grateful to have, to receive this, um, it's, it's like an acknowledgement, you know, for me. It's like, hey man. We love I've never been as famous in Sweden as I am now. <laughs> <laughs> and deserve it. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah. It's great. Because the song, you know, I think maybe some people because you have such a high standard of work and some of them are going, Oh well it's not as good as this song or that song, but I'm going, Okay, but is that really fair that you know you're going, Oh well it's not Mohombi's best song? I'm like, but it's still a great song. Oh yeah. And it's the hook is so like it's yeah. It gets in, in there and it's in there. Good. Mm -hmm. Number three on Spotify today. Uh, yeah, so that means that people want to hear it again and again and again and again. And again. I want to hear it again. And, and again. it's you know so that's that's like just confirming that what what we thought that mm -hmm. we have a powerful song and this was the best platform to promote. Mm -hmm. Can I ask who you worked with to make the music video? Because obviously you can't be doing all of that yourself. Uh, uh, it's it, I work with Jay Visuals, um, a, a very good friend. Uh, he actually made my first video 20 years ago. And uh, he's from Sweden. And uh, together with uh, my dear manager Bruno, who, who uh, was an executive producer, he's a very creative guy as well. So a small team making great things, big things. Yeah, because I always think like, if you have the right team, you can get so much more done. Because other people, they make excuses about why they don't have Oh, videos. definitely. And that's why I keep coming to talk to you and I don't go talk to so them. So these are my associates. We are three, four, we are five guys mm -hmm. doing the job of 25. I can relate to that because we sell and I are two people doing the work of ten people. There you go. It's my last year. Work Nation. <laughs> oh, oh, I have a burning, burning question. So I was talking to uh, a friend of mine and I was saying about how, you know, like I, I want at least a year off from Mellow, maybe more, I don't know because I'm just, I'm tired, I'm burnt out, I need to do other things. But I've also been saying, if Christopher Bjorkman pulls some voodoo and gets Arash to come do it, I will book the, like, as soon as they say his name, I'll be on the, the you know, the flight booking websites. And I was like, but he would never do it. But then my friend said, but he might. And I was like, why? And I was like, well, Mahomie just did it. And they're best, like, they're really good friends. Uh -huh. And then I was like, so do you think Arash could maybe at some point come do it? Like, because you know, I've never met him, so I don't know where his you head's mean at. You mean here? Like, do mellow. Mellow in Sweden, yeah. not Euro. Yeah, just mellow. Just mellow. I'll ask him and I'll let you know. Don't play with my emotions. I mean, nothing is impossible. You know, it's. I don't know what he got is in my in his mind right now. You know, uh -huh. he's, he's a busy man. He's a yeah. superstar. He. Yeah. My cost. My cost him money. <laughs> Because I've heard that apparently 2021 is supposed to be a big anniversary show, so they're gonna try really hard to get big names, like big hosts, big names, ah. or whatever. So if like if I take next year off, and then 2021, if I if they like get Arash to compete, and I come back because Arash, you know, he was here last year because he was one of Margaret's songwriters. Yeah. But he didn't stay for the after party, and I was so upset because I didn't get to meet ah, him. I could see. see him sitting there, but he didn't like stay, but because he had to go tour because he's a big superstar. I see. It's hey, we love you, man. <laughs> it's been years of me trying to meet him and I've never met him because he's never here and I'm never where he is. Anyway, so what's next for you, man? 
I'm gonna start a tour in April. Mm -hmm. Where? Uh, south of Europe, Asia, uh, Middle East. So yeah. Everywhere? So, yeah, kind of. <laughs> uh, but right now I'm gonna go home, take some time off. Uh, my kids, I mean, I miss them like crazy. It's mm -hmm. been, I've been sacrificing a lot of time away from them to be here. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's their time now. Oh, you know what I saw a lot of people tweeting about? You know, in your opening video for the finals, a lot of people were asking, why didn't you wear the yellow leopard print or whatever it was outfit for your performance? For my performance? Yeah. <laughs> they wanted me to keep it on? Yeah. <laughs> Man, I should have. Yeah, why not? Why didn't you wear it? Why are you it wasn't made by like then. It wasn't made by then. Mm. You know, I have a tailor that lives in my, basically lives in my house. <laughs> yeah. He Is it comes, you're tall and he nothing comes in every you? morning. No, he comes in every morning. He, ha he he got his little office with his things, his machines. You know, it's the setup. He just comes in and do mm. things. You know, I, I just like to be exclusive like that. Awesome. Well, I could easily just spend all my time with you, but I think it's not I'm not supposed to do that. So I'll begrudgingly leave, even though literally everybody knows I don't want to be at any other table it's more than just this one. The goodbye. <laughs> Thank well, you it's so been much. a pleasure, guys. Thank you. Thank you for this. Thank you so much. Like, I've said thank it you to you before. Thank you for spicing up this week. No, but honestly, and like, I keep saying it, but thank you so much just for coming and doing the show. Because, like, if I had had to do this season without you here, it w I wouldn't have had as much fun. It's so. been a pleasure.